am I going to talk about on Oprah Winfrey today, this afternoon? <laughs> okay. I'm sure a lot of you have seen <coughs> in the past videos where I'm bumming and thumbing and humming. Hmm. Where I'm panhandling, begging for quarters, making big money. First, if you, if to those of you who think that I was making fun of the people, give them to me. You're dead wrong. But let me put it this way. If you got that impression, I'm sorry. I did not mean for you to get that impression. I do not make fun of the hand. I do not bite the hand that feeds me. Whether it feeds me or whether it just feeds me cash. <laughs> I never make fun of the people who gave me. In fact, each and every one of you who gave me anything, I thank you from my heart. I know this. I've stopped panhandling. You don't know how it was fit. It was physically and emotionally draining that you out there and quarters, especially when you first get started. It got easier after you made the first five dollars, but and then it, it got. It was fun when you had a shitload of cash in your pocket, you know, like twenty dollar bills. Then it was fun because you knew you didn't have to make so much money. But when you first get started, that's the hardest. But making that first five dollars is the hardest part. It's time to move on to better things. You know, I really cut my own throat when I started posting videos of me begging for money. I knew it could happen. But hey, I like, you know, the, the bird, like the mother bird throws the little chicks out of the nest to force them to learn how to fly. I had to throw myself out of the nest. Time to move on to better things. You know, I want to get famous one day. I want to become a rapper, a songwriter. I did not want to be 20 years from now still begging for money, still begging for quarters, even if I was making a shit boatload of cash. Time to move on to better things. <laughs> Hopefully. You know, I do want to get some money, enough money, money, so you see this hair? You see this disgusting, bald and thin hair? Fuck this shit. I want to get some hair. I don't want hair transplant surgery. Hair transplants, hair transplants fucking sucks. They put it in, it goes in 100% thick, but it grows back maybe 30% thick, if you're fucking lucky. <laughs> I want hair flap surgery from either Dr. Richard Fleming or Dr. Meyer in Beverly Hills, California. Because they take a wedge of your hair that never leaves the fucking blood supply. They curve it around, they do some cutting, and... You can go to work the very same fucking day. We gotta come out two weeks, two weeks later because there's some bulge from the way they do this and they gotta cut it the fuck out. You know, the only way I I can't get no one of these piss ass poor jobs, waiting tables or whatever, in a, with a fast food joint, one of these little piss poor ass jobs, not qualified, and make enough money in time to get the surgeries I need because by the time I would make the money, if I could, I'd be fucking old and it wouldn't fucking matter anyways. I'm old enough as it is. I wasted press for over 15 years of my life. This fucking shit. The only way I can stand to make the only way I can make the money is if I can make it as a songwriter, aspiring rapper. <laughs> the only what's the only alternative? Win the fucking lottery. I stand a better chance of standing out in the thunderstorm and getting struck by lightning five fucking times in a row. God damn it! Fuck that shit. I ain't waiting no for. I ain't put lottery. Fuck the lottery. <laughs> I won't be saying that if I won, but god damn it, I'm not going to win the fucking lottery, so fuck the lottery. Fuck it. God, fuck it. Damn, I, I mean, I'm squinting because I don't want to see myself in the mirror behind this camera. Yeah. All I want to do, I want to be a hottie. That's the very, the reason I got into wanting to be a rapper is because I got attention from the girls. And I thank each and every one of you who gave to me back in my panhandling days. I started panhandling in April of 2007 because I had to move out. I was living here in the Kinston Towers, apartment 2C. And all I had to, and back then, I got, you know, about $600 or in, in benefits. And all I had to do was pay $180, $165 a month for rent. No electricity, no, nothing else. Just that, that paid for electricity, water, everything. Well, of course, I had to pay, buy my medicine at Walmart, which was $70. And 
I want cable TV, but after that, I was I could easily save shitloads of money each month. So I could go to Los Angeles every year. Every year in November, the first weekend of November, I go to Los Angeles Music Convention, the, the Taxi Road Rally, make those contacts in the music biz. But when they were remodeling this place in 2005, they kicked us off to the fucking curb. Gave us three hundred dollars, and I moved into a place where I had to pay. $295 a month, plus a fucking electric bill, plus a goddamn gas bill in the winter time, <laughs> and after I paid, and plus still my medication from Walmart, see I get, Medicaid pays for everything but the Propecia, and I take Propecia so I don't go bald, they say bald is beautiful, fuck that, that you feel, fuck you too, that's not for me, bald is ugly, better dead than bald. <laughs> bald, fuck that shit. The only guys who look good bald are black guys. I don't know how the fuck they pull it off, but they sure as hell can. A white guy bald, but ugly. A white guy even partially bald is really but ugly. But ugly. <laughs> And a female, a female who's bald is really butt ugly. If I go bald, even partially bald, <coughs> I'm going to be butt ugly. No, no, butt ugly. Butt ugly. Well, I'm butt ugly anyway, but I'd really be butt ugly. Just know this, the cops would be glad to hear this. I quit panhandling. I still don't mean I need I don't need money. I still need some fucking money so I can get this fucking cosmetic surgery. Now before I get too much really old. These aches and pains are telling me I'm dying. <laughs> Man, fuck this shit.